So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. He wanted to be that charismatic. He wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick. 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, and I'm not sure. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Hercules. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So Herb Dean, third man Ready. in there for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. Right hand on the counter. Fight behind a night jab. All right, let's go. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Good job blocking that shot. Hands high, hands high. The kick is there to the body. Oh, lands a nice straight. Sidekick, well placed. All fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, nice little right hook there. Looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, he 
You can do worse than watching the film on this guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Midway through round one. Nice kick. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Good series of punches. Oh! He's hurt bad. Flips the shot. Take it to the ground. Looking to land the leg kick now. We'll work with that jab. Jab lands. Leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Bam! Perfect timing on the Superman punch. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Nice jab. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Alright, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round. No doubt a crowd-pleasing approach from him here tonight. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Give me those hard kicks, hard kicks. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. 15 seconds remain in the round. So this great man has had his chin been tested early. for the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round, so the complexion of this one may have changed a little bit. You see the cut above his eyes sustained in that round. One of the best cut men in the business. He'll get in there and try to close it up before it becomes a bigger issue than it already is. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice front kick. Oh, back and forth, we go. Oh, and lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily. Oh!
almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Punch over the top. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Just so oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, misses with the jab. Just misses with the right. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Let's go. Let's get that takedown down. Got the single collar tie. Lock that down. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defense? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Under a minute now to go on the round. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. And now I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Uh, Ten minutes uh, in the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. need you to be smart now. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now, but in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots with his head. Ready. He's not doing a great yeah. job of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose, in terms of his breathing pattern, is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on. Oh, that strike is blocked. Straight counter, is it? 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight over here. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't need too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Oh! Oh! Misses again with a right punch. Landed that left hook. Clipped him with a right hand there. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even as a feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Three minutes to go. Beautiful punch lands. Back and forth we go. Beautiful. Punch strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Oh! He's a ton of trouble right now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Jab snaps the head back. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Head kick lands now. Yep. His misses are entertaining. Man, he is hurting for certain. I don't care how many planks, crunches you do, the body is not meant to absorb that type of damage. No, you can prepare yourself so thoroughly and still not be ready for this because this has been hard to watch. This guy has taken every shot that his opponent's thrown to his body. I'm amazed that he's even still standing right now. One minute. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these we have. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Just misses with the left hook. That landed. He's got that single collar time locked in. He's got him right here. Fighter lands a kick to the head now. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, sit down. Take a couple of deep breaths. Relax. Focus here. Okay? You're throwing a lot of strikes out there, but I need you to be more accurate. You missed a lot of those.
Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. That punch was deflected, nicely done. The fighters separate from the clinch now. Straight right hand now, just misses. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Effective jab there by Lee. Moving to his left now. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. You wonder if the offensive fighter's going to... Oh! oh, big left hook there. Safety. Find a way that you can recover. Slips the punch. Just over three minutes to go. Useful hook there. Flips the left hand. Caught that kick there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. to the body now, that one won't land. Just a slip there. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, what a kick! That one snuck in, nice strike. That body kick got home. Flips on the elbow. Swing and a miss by Lee. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh. Crowd continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. It got checked. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Clipped him with the right hand there. 
Ali gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Final seconds. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is gonna start to affect his breathing. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the cut on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time. Maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut, but a definite source of adversity here after this round. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. So the body in it lands. a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid their little Straight left there. Oh, yeah, right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. All right, well, fatigue is certainly a factor here down the stretch. He is losing the fight. He is completely out of gas. I mean, he's been outclassed. He's taken so much damage. Work, work, he work, everything he work. could to try to take. That's a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh! He's hurt bad. Big right hand there. Oh! He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. He's really having a hard time putting weight on that leg now. You can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is due to the leg kicks courtesy of his opponent. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lands. Going to the body, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, straight punch. Lands a nice jab there. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Nice uppercut. Oh, big elbow. Another shot to the head. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, nice technique on the side kick. You don't burn that overnight. Oh, nice knee. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect place 
placement on that shot. What a last minute! find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Big right hand. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, big left. Final seconds of this fight. We go to the scorecards, one of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not,